All right, what's up guys, Toasty here, Get Burnt. Today I'm going to be talking more about Dragon Ball Z games. So today I'm going to be doing a little bit of a, somewhat of a poll, I guess, or some sort of just a discussion with you guys about something that you guys w would think about in the Dragon Ball Z games, and that is Great Apes. So Great Apes are something that a lot of people have been wanting to be right in Dragon Ball Z games for such a long time. Um, in the Budokai games, we never really saw a lot of Great Apes, or at least battles with Great Apes. We never really saw anything like that. It was mainly focused on the battling normal side like side battling thing i would say 2d but it's not 2d it's more point 2.5d uh so it, i was wanting to say for the budokai tenkaichi games and i guess xenoverse and xenoverse is kind of the best way that greatest have been implemented for battles like that i i would say that that is probably the other spectrum that i would want to ask for so what do you think between the budokai tenkaichi games and xenoverse is style of great apes fighting what, what would you rather prefer now um on this side, I could say that Great Apes would be playable for Xenoverse because technically, uh, if you guys haven't seen, there are actually a few mods that have come out and, well, not mods, it's more just um, them tapping into the files or the in-game models and using the Great Apes to what they do in-game. Uh, they've used them and obviously they don't seem that fun to play or anything mainly because they're so scaled so high up because that's how they are in the anime so what do you guys think about that versus the Budokai Tenkaichi way where every great ape is really scaled down and it allows them to be playable against normal fighters so pretty much in Budokai Tenkaichi games you could play as great ape Vegeta and fight the Ginyu Force and actually like be able to fight normally instead of actually having you know a huge great ape uh, big battle against five of the Ginyu Force now I personally I I don't really know because that's something that really made me wonder because during the actual development or the time that Dragon Ball Z Universe was coming out, I made a video before talking about Great Apes and I was like saying how I hope that they could be playable in a scaled up format. But then when I saw all this gameplay of the Great Apes being playable against normal fighters in Dragon Ball Xenoverse, it didn't seem really natural at all. It seemed like it really wouldn't fit Xenoverse itself. But I wonder, really, what do you guys think about that comparison to the Budokai Tenkaichi games? Now, the Budokai Tenkaichi games themselves... When they did Great Apes, the Great Apes didn't always play extremely differently. They had different moves and stuff, but most of the time they played pretty much the exact same. We had, I'm probably going to be missing some, but we had um, Great Ape Bardock, Great Ape Nappa, Great Ape Turles, Great Ape Raditz, and we all, and Great Ape Vegeta, obviously. And great and the Great Ape Kid Goku and the Great... Wait, no. We only had Great Ape Kid Goku. I don't think we had Great Ape uh, Kid Gohan. So, those were all the Great Apes that I at least remember from the Budokai Tenkaichi games. And they all played somewhat similar. Oh, we also had Great Ape Fasha. I almost forgot about that. So, and Great Ape Baby. <laughs> I'm, I'm so, I just keep forgetting all these names. But, yes, we did have all of those Great Apes in the old games. And they kind of played similarly. Oh, and Great Ape Kid Vegeta. I, I'm just forgetting every one of them. But yeah, we had all of those great apes, and honestly, it was really awesome to see all of those great apes playable in the game. It really felt like it was something big. And now obviously, in Xenoverse, we're getting like Great Ape Baby, and we've already had Great Ape Nappa, Great Ape Vegeta, and Great Ape Bardock. But we haven't really seen a lot more great ape characters, and that's probably because they all would pretty much play the exact same, at least in terms of their structure. Because great apes in Xenoverse, they're mainly like a boss battle sort of thing only. Now, what I think would have been really awesome is that if we had a multiplayer mode in Xenoverse, that sort of thing. Thing to actually play against the great apes like let's say it was a 1v5 or 1v3 mode i guess not it wouldn't be 1v5 since the usual limit of players um in xenoverse or at least for people who are actually playing is three so i guess it would be 1v3 game mode where you would be one great ape fighting against three people now although this is not tapped into the great ape's favor obviously because the great ape has a lot of moves that are very easy to see through you'd be able to really easily defeat them but I don't know that is something that i was always wondering for and hoping for in xenoverse and i really wonder if it could actually happen and if it, if it did happen would it actually work out now that's just something i'm hoping for i would like to see some sort of way that this could be implemented fine but i really wanted to ask you guys today what do you think about xenoverse's great ape style of battle like pretty much just the big boss battle scaled up to what they normally were in the anime to Budokai Tenkaichi style where it had shrunk the Great Apes down quite a bit just so that they could fight normally against the Z fighters and as well as every other villain in Dragon Ball Z. What do you think about those styles combating each other? What do you really prefer in terms of both of those styles? And that's really all I wanted to say today, guys. That is really it. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like down below as well as to leave your comment down below telling me what Great Ape style of a gameplay that you guys favor more. And yes, that's it for me, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys later. Peace out.